Hey, Star Wars fans, the Comlink is here in Seattle, Washington, outside the EMP Museum, which is the Smithsonian's first stop on a touring exhibition called Rebel Jedi Princess Queen, Star Wars and the Power of Costume. Tonight is the grand opening, and we're here for the party. We brought you along. See you inside. The EMP Museum set up an amazing night of Star Wars activities for the fans. Special guests Anthony Daniels and Billy D. Williams kicked off the evening, which was followed up by great Star Wars themed events all night long. A DJ and brass band kept the force flowing through the crowd. There was a costume contest where fans were able to show off their own creations, photo ops with the stars, trivia contests, and an amazing choreographed lightsaber battle by the Saber Guild. All of this to celebrate a new, close-up look at 60 costumes pulled from the Lucas Archives curated specifically for this exhibit by the Lucas Museum and Smithsonian. While the party upstairs was as lively as a night at the Outlander Club on Coruscant, downstairs fans got an intimate look into the costumes and characters that we love, with spotlight talks featuring Billy Dee Williams, Anthony Daniels, and Academy Award-nominated costume designer Aggie Rogers, who was responsible for the costumes of Return of the Jedi. What stands out in your mind as a favorite? My very favorite really is um, Carrie as the bounty hunter. And, uh, you know, I look at it now and it's so Japanese. I mean, that I think that helmet came from a previous drawing, but I think the outfit was just like I lifted the whole thing out of some Japanese thing. And, you know, you can look at it and you'll see it's all there. At the end of episode five, um, Lando's wearing hands clothing. <laughs> Why? People don't realize that these two guys were, um, they were an item. Before the festivities for the night began, we took a sneak peek inside and caught up with Layla French from the Lucas Museum and Saul Saposi Drake from the Smithsonian both of whom are responsible for curating this innovative exhibit. I'm here at the EMP Museum with Layla French. She's from the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art. Now, Layla, what strikes me, and something you said earlier about the kind of open air access, what was the, the thought process behind that? Well, this is our very first Star Wars costume exhibition where it's only costume. We really wanted to make sure that the fans and the visitors get a really intimate look at the, and the materials, and you can't do that when they're behind Plexi. That's right, and you have all these, you've got iPads, it looks like, and audio and interactivity. Can you talk about some of the design of that? Sure. Um, so this is a really integrative exhibit. We really wanted to show the behind the scenes of what the creative process is for costume design. Um, we don't have any of the original concept art, but we have included it through the iPad books, so they're like flip books. Any of that stuff that's never been seen before? Or? A lot of it's never been seen, especially the behind the scenes snippets. Those are really special photography and video pits. Now, I want to brag about you a little bit here because <laughs> you, for, for years before joining the Lucas Narrative Museum, you were at the archive building at Skywalker Ranch. And so you're probably pretty used to this or is this just seeing it in a new way for you? Uh, both. Um, I live with these costumes day in and day out. I've been overseeing the collection for the last 13 years, but it's really new for us to do an exhibit of this scale and this style with open platforms. We really push the boundaries um, in exhibit design. We look to the Metropolitan Museum, to the Alexander McQueen exhibits. We really look, wanted to make it cutting edge, high fashion. I think that there's a few surprises in store for the fans, so that'll be exciting. Some never before seen dresses. The wedding dress, the rainbow dress, there's a couple of handmaidens. Um, and especially upstairs, we have the Stormtrooper from Return of the Jedi. We have never shown an original trilogy Stormtrooper before. Nobody has. This is the first time. I think for the Uber fans, that's going to be their holy grail. Now, how did you decide upon this specific collection of costumes? Part of the selection process is basically kind of showing contrast. You know, we have a lot of costumes from the, the classic episodes, which are very sparse, but equally uh, uh, important, iconic in nature and a bunch of costumes from the, the newer episodes, which are very lavish and embellished. So we really wanted to play with contrast there and, and really give uh, fans an intimate look at, uh, at how these things look and, and, and feel and, and move and, and such like that. And, and I saw your background is in cultural anthropology. Do I have, I have that right? That's correct. Well, so if you had a favorite here, what would your favorite be or even maybe a couple of favorites and why? Uh, to my cultural anthropology side, there's a lot of influences um, that you see throughout the exhibition. One in particular, um, a, a, a Queen Al Amidala gown, which she's wearing a headdress which is very similar to a Mongolian royalty. And throughout the exhibition we really sort of play up that where is uh, George Lucas sort of uh, getting his influence from. 
And uh, coincidentally, we have uh, Smithsonian curators from across the uh, from ex uh, museums across the mall actually looking at those influences and how they relate back to American popular culture uh, or world culture and world history. So it's really interesting to see that aspect as well. So we, we're giving fans, you know, a really cool aesthetic wow factor when seeing the costumes, but also when they read the panels, they really get, you know, that sort of analytical Smithsonian side of things. And, you know, by being able to engage those lightsabers and also a tactile experience. Um, we have er elements where people can feel fabric, feel the weight of it, feel the texture of it. So all these things come, coming together, I, I think is really important and gives the visitor sort of a holistic experience within the exhibition space. The next location of this traveling exhibit has yet to be announced, but you can catch it through October 4th. 2015 at the EMP Museum in Seattle. And trust me, whether or not you're a casual or hardcore Star Wars fan, you won't want to miss it.